Hi there. A very practical question. Yeah. So how many hours of footage you had for this Great film question. and how yeah. long did it take you to edit it? Great question. Uh, you know, it's hard to know. We started out maybe with 100 hours of interviews and then 100 hours of random other footage, B-roll that was shot, um, uh, footage that was shot overseas. The, the film takes place in Iceland and China and Singapore and France and the UK. Um, but as an editor in docs, you also, it's not just what's been shot, it's what you then need to get. So as you're watching interviews, you might realize, oh, we need archival of this. We need to get the Goldman Sachs hearings before Congress. We need to watch all 15 hours of that. We, this person referred to this, uh, you know, the modernization, the, the Commodity Futures Modernization Act, which deregulated derivatives in the late 90s. We need to get footage of that. We need to get the, the actual documents. We need to scan the documents, bring them into Final Cut Pro, do moves on them. So you're, it's not just what you've shot, it's what you then get. And I honestly, it's probably 400 hours in the end, which then needs to be condensed down to, you know, 100 minutes, less than 1% of that. Um, so it can be pretty, uh, yeah, there's a lot to go through. It took about, took, took about eight months to really have a film. Uh, took a long time. But it usually does with docs of this nature. It can take six months to a year. Um, how often do you clash with the director? Like, do you often fight for scenes that you really want to keep in that he wants to get rid of? Or does uh, he typically have the last say and you can't do much about it? No, it doesn't really work like that. We try to be as collaborative as possible. As an editor, you'll, after doing a couple of films, you'll recognize that there, are, there you might kind of have an instinct that something doesn't work, but it's not always good to bring that up. There's so many issues at hand that, you know, you sort of want the director to kind of make, make choices and decisions, and you live with that for a while. And then eventually, I find most of the time, whoever's, whoever's right about it, it, it basically just works itself out in the end. So I don't try to be combative. I'm usually like, you know, I kind of look at the big picture. Like, I don't want to get into any kind of arguments with the other editor, with the director, or the producer. I just want to let them kind of see it and feel it. And usually when you have screenings, after you assemble things, you'll find that those issues aren't even worth getting into. You kind of, a lot of it's like, you know, just good, smart politics in a way. You kind of don't want to fight too many fights that, that are unnecessary. So we get along pretty well, actually. Sorry. Hi, this is kind of a 